Hello my friends! Welcome to the vlog and happy new year. So I'm just heading into one of my favourite places. Haven't been here since last year. I love saying that. Um, I'm in a home sense because I basically want to spend this evening doing a massive organise and like you know when it hits the new year and you just feel like, I don't know where I'm going, just feel like you want to organise loads of stuff. So I've come into home sense to grab um, just some organisational stuff basically I want some like um, dividers for my like makeup drawers and all that sort of stuff so yeah I'm gonna have a little look around some nice bits in here actually but anyway let's head over to the like cutlery section because I think that's what I'm gonna get first and we'll see what we can find okay I can't seem to find what I'm looking for I'm looking for like this kind of thing but like smaller but they don't really have anything. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I found this one, which is in the sale for £12. So I'm going to get that, I think. Because it doesn't really matter what it looks like inside. Because obviously it's just going inside. And now I'm in this section. Because I feel like they do bits like that over here too. So let's see what we can find. Hmm, they're not quite right. Oh yeah, like these things. So I'm back from HomeSense and I've had my dinner and now I am in organisation mode. Um, like as I said earlier I kind of feel like every new year I try and do this so I cleared out my office earlier which I didn't film um but now I'm about to clear out like all my makeup so I thought this might be quite fun to watch I literally love watching these videos so much like I don't know why someone else organizing their own stuff is so satisfying like maybe it's quite motivating I don't know but anyway I'm going to show you like where we're at currently with what I've got and um just yeah basically attempt to organize um, HomeSense didn't actually have very many, um, like, drawers or, like, like, cutlery sections. I don't know what they're called. But they didn't actually have very many of them, so I couldn't get that many. But hopefully I'll be able to find some bits that I can do it with. Um, and then also I might order some off Amazon. So, yeah, let me show you what we're working with. Okay, so obviously I have, like, quite a few bits up on the top of here. Um, but this is the first drawer that I want to tackle. So this has literally got, like, most of my makeup that I use... Not on a daily basis because my daily basis makeup is in here, but um, kind of like little extras that I use kind of like most days or like most weeks or anything like that. So that is all in there. Um, in here, I have um, a lot of my jewellery, just kind of random bits really. I need to clear out all of this to be honest. But this one's actually okay. This one isn't too bad. So yeah, that's that in there. And then... In this corner of the room, I have um, some big drawers. These are like the Ikea ones that everybody has. Um, and then on top of that, I have all my perfumes. I don't actually have that many perfumes, to be fair. I'm kind of like, I've kind of streamlined them down quite well. Um, and then all my hair bits are in there. But I kind of do want to sort out the top of this, but I'm going to focus on my drawers to start with. So this is the first drawer I need to sort out. And this literally has, just stuff that I I mean I haven't really touched this drawer in maybe like a year so I think that's just saying something really isn't it I can feel my body you're cold against the concrete but I can't seem to get enough my mind is fixed on what it wants I just let you beat me look can be deceiving let you get the best of me in bed with my worst enemy this is a no pro I just can take cold this is a danger zone back up and get me home this is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat. Let me waste your time. So the top of time.
So basically I put um, all my lip products in this section. I don't actually have very much, like, at all. Um, I'll show you a couple of faves. Uh, Max Kind of Sexy, that one, which is really, really nice, kind of like pinky nude colour. What other ones do I really like? And I've obviously got like lip liners here as well. Just got a few, like this is Boldly Bare, which goes nice with uh, Kind of Sexy. Anyway, so yeah, lip stuff here. And then over here, I've kind of had to do a bit of a mix. Um, so I've got like highlight and bronzers here. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury palette, which I love the highlight in particular. I always use the highlight. Um, I've only recently got that one, but I really like it. I've got a Glossier Boy Brow, which has almost run out, to be honest. I'll probably end up chucking that away soon. And then I've just got some mascaras. Um, I've got the HD Brow Pencil. Um, this is my absolute favourite mascara. It's by Tarte, and it is so good. I absolutely love it. I've got eyelash extensions in at the moment, so I don't really use a lot of mascara. So that's why this one is in here. Over here, I have got um, a couple of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glows. I ordered like quite a few of these because... Um, I had to get them on Amazon, I couldn't try them out, like I didn't know about the colours and stuff. And these are fine, like it just depends whether I'm tanned or whether it's the summer and all that jazz. So this one is shade 204, I've also got a 205 there. So I keep both of them and I can mix them together and stuff. Um, I've also got, when I can get it off, <laughs> a Bobbi Brown um, tinted moisturiser and I love this stuff. Like it's the best tinted moisturiser ever. I've got it in the medium tint and I put this on when I don't really want to wear much makeup. So that's that. And then over here I've kind of got like little bits of moisturising stuff and also like tweezers and stuff. So obviously I've got a little Vaseline there. I've got loads of tweezers. I'm not really sure why I have so many tweezers. Tweezer Man is the absolute best make for tweezers. Um, I've got some little ones. I've got a spoolie for my eyelashes. Yeah, so not bad progress to be fair. I'm quite happy with that. I feel like that's very organised. Like if I pull it out and I'm looking for something, I can find it so much easier. So yes, I'm now I'm going to get on and do these little bits here. Chuck them away or put them where they need to be. Etc. Etc. Thought that I knew better. Keep falling for your innocence, acting like you're into me. I know this is hopeless. Moving in slow motion, trying to control my thoughts, but I can't stop our body talk. This is a no go. I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me. Okay, so now I have decided to organise this with all my hair stuff. Um, so I've got like some dry shampoos, um, this Bumble and Bumble spray, which I put on um, before I blow dry. I love this. Recently, like ever since I cut my hair, um, it's basically just kind of been in bad condition because I've used so much heat on it but this is really really good I've got a little hairspray there I don't really use hairspray very much I've got this which I actually bought really recently I haven't tried it yet um same with my short hair and like the um like since I've been blow drying it all the time and straightening it and stuff it's gone like a little bit frizzy around the front so I thought I would give that a go and see if it's any good um and then in here I've got all my hair bands I've got little clear ones black ones all of them my hairbrush and then down the back here like I've got rollers and stuff I don't really use um rollers but I've got them for when I need them and then because I've done that it means that the top of this is like pretty much clear other than for my perfumes so I think what I'm gonna do is like organize these perfumes nicely and my maybe get like a little tray for them or something like that and then I've got this like big space here which I might pop my like jewelry and stuff on um because it kind of keeps it out of the way but still like out on display so I'm gonna do that now I think Okay, so this is what I've done over here. So basically I just have this jewelry box, um, which my grandma actually got for me. Um, and it's got like, loads of bits and bobs in there. It's not actually stuff that I wear very often anymore, but it's kind of stuff that I don't want to get rid of. So that's in there. And then I have put my perfumes here. So um, I'll just go through them really quickly, but this is Creed Aventus, um, the girls version. Um, this is Jo Malone, Myrrh and Tonka. Me and my boyfriend both wear this. Like I don't know if it's meant to be unisex, but he likes it too so we both wear it uh, i've got a zara one back here and then this is tom ford um orchid soleil this is actually like all finished really but it's still got a little bit in there but this is my summer perfume i love it so much 
Um, this is another Jo Malone one, which is Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. This is a really nice one for evenings, so that's like an evening perfume. And then this is my most recent one. So yeah, this one is Baccarat Rouge. Um, it's my most recent one, but this one is like stupidly expensive, but I love it. So, but I just use that one sparingly. And then I've got all my jewellery here. Now, I think I might do like a um, jewellery collection video. Maybe. I love jewellery so much. So let me know down below if you'd like me to do that, because I don't know if it's just me that loves it. Okay, so let me remove that. Now that I've cleared out the top of that, I basically think I'm going to pop some of my bags onto this section. I got a new bag for Christmas, which is that one there. Um, so I might just store them on here. So just for now, I've just popped it like that. So there's my new bag there. And then this is a purse that I don't really use anymore. Got a little photo frame there of me and one of my friends. Um, but I just really like how much cleaner that looks. And like to have that stuff organized behind the door is better because obviously when the door's closed, you don't see it. in my torch up so you can see me um but yeah i'm off to sleep now and i will see you guys in the morning i'm up at six because i'm gonna go i'm going to my personal trainer at seven so i'll catch up with you then so such an exciting morning <laughs> also my camera battery is flashing so i'm going to pop you guys on charge and then i'll chat to you I'm off to go get my eyelashes done now um, just to get them infilled um, I don't think I'm gonna take you with me because where I go to get it done um, it's actually like in her house so I don't want to like film someone else's house basically it's got this black little set on from um, it's from Misha lounge so it's like a t-shirt and then these wide leg trousers and then I've got my Stan Smiths on I'm a little bit obsessed with these um, <laughs> and then I've just got my black Balenciaga city bag on I get quite a lot of questions about this. I actually got this at Bista Village Outlet Centre. Um, it was such a bargain for one of these bags. These bags normally retail at like, I think like 1,500 and I got it for 400 pounds. So that was my bargain of, I think I got that two years ago now. But yeah, anyway, off to get my eyelashes done. I will leave um, the links down below for um, who I go to to get my lashes done if anyone lives near me and wants to get them done. Um, I think she does a really, really good job. I think they look very natural. Right now, they look a mess, obviously, because I need them infilled. But yeah, and then I'm going to head off to London. Also, I'm going to have a little chat about my teeth later um, when I have time, because I went to the dentist earlier. Oh, the light just flashed. Um, I went to the dentist earlier, and um, I get so many questions about my veneers. So I'm going to talk about that later. So stay tuned if you're interested. Also, I need to stop pointing at the camera. I just have to, like, hold my hand in. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Just got our Pizza Express delivery. What's this? This is, oh, I got some garlic bread. 
Mm. That's your pizza. It's very okay. small compared to yours. I know, I, got, I told you, you could have upgraded to the big one. Did not. I did, Romana base is the big one. Oh, right. And this one is mine. <gasps> Mm. Oh, I can. Especially after all that workout you did. Yeah, and that's why I can eat it all. Yeah. Hi guys. So I'm in a bit of a different setup this morning. I'm actually at my sister's house um, in London. Um, but I'm trying to decide whether to wear this grey coat or whether to put my black one on. It's freezing cold in London today, which is why I've got my hat on. Um, this hat is from H&M. My glasses are ASOS, but it's really sunny, so I think I'm going to have to swap them out for my Ray-Bans. Um, my jumper is from Zara Mans actually, it's literally just like this plain black kind of ribbed jumper. My jeans are from Matalan, um, I did a campaign with Matalan uh, probably about three months ago now and I discovered their jeans and I actually love them so it was a really really good find because I'd never actually tried out any of their jeans and stuff. So yeah, um, so I'm going to wear this coat or my big black teddy one but you know when you're like going in and out of shops and you get really hot and flustered and bothered, I don't want to get like that. I don't know. Let's see, and I think I'm gonna pop my Doc Martens on, which are over there. Okay, so now I've got my black one on. I can't decide, it's just like a plain black outfit if I wear this, but it's very cozy. Hmm, maybe I'll just wear this. Feels kind of boring though. Forgot to say, um, on my lips I've got Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. It's such a nice day. Like the sky is really blue, the sun is shining, but it's really cold, like you can still kind of see my breath. It's like my favorite kind of day. <laughs> I can't tell her how I feel because she has someone who makes her So I haven't happy. told you guys why we're in London. Um, well, we just come in for a bit of a shop really, but one of the main reasons is I've got my mum a pair of shoes for Christmas and she needs to change the size. And they're from Harvey Nicks, so our closest one is, oh, that's nice in there, look. Oh, that's that, ELN. Elan, is it called? That cafe, very Instagrammable. Um, so yeah, that's the reason we're in here, basically. But yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of a shop around as well. So we're in Knightsbridge at the moment, and then I think we'll go for a nice lunch. So yeah. Or at least I try to be. Cause I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her. But she won't feel the same for me. Got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try So I'm in Harvey Nicks and I just found some bits in the sale So we've got this acne t-shirt in the sale It's got like the little acne sign there This one's like £40 I think And then I've got these joggers on at the moment They say Acne Studios there they just fit so nice, they're a really nice colour. Excuse the one sock on sitch. I found these in the sale. I don't know whether they're cool or a bit weird. Let me give them a go and see. And then I've got a couple of bits there. Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me shoes but the only annoying thing is I just noticed one of the gold buckles is missing let me show you what I mean so it's missing there but I'm wondering if I just took that one off then it wouldn't be as noticeable because like there's still a lace hole thing there it literally feels like I'm wearing Uggs it's the softest thing ever I feel like I can't walk away from them might see if I can get some more money off as well because obviously they're faulty but I don't know if it's silly. I mean, when you're looking at them, you actually can't notice. Hmm, let me go see, see what my mum thinks. Okay, so this outfit didn't really work out like I thought it was going to. I've got this, like, sequin leopard print skirt on, which I saw on Monique's Instagram. Um, 
to mind, just popped it on with this like burgundy jumper, but it doesn't look right. Also, the skirt, like the sequins are so sharp. They just like slashed my whole legs apart when I was trying to get it on. So that one is just a no. So guys, we're in Topshop and I'm wearing the t-shirt that I bought earlier in Acne. Um, but I found these jeans and they're in the sale. I mean, they're literally the only pair left and they were in my size. And I feel like with a pair of heels, this is quite a cool outfit. Like they're a little bit out of my comfort zone because obviously they're like the widest flares ever. But I think they're kind of cool. And last we are currently in a taxi on our way to Bond Street because we were being too lazy to walk or get the tube. So we're gonna see I think I said we were trying to change my mum's trainers that I got her for Christmas. Anyway, it was such a blabber in Harvey Nicks and they didn't have the right ones and we were in there for about two hours. <laughs> so um, now we are going to Selfridges to see if we can find some other ones. I got those jeans in Topshop. They were only they're £12 and then Topshop's doing an extra 20% off their sale. So that was £10. <laughs> so yeah, but but she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else, and I will have to let her go. She will never know, na na, never know, na na. She will never know, na na. Hi guys. So um, I didn't sign off yesterday. Sorry, um, but we were really knackered, so we just came in, had some food, and went to bed. Anyway, now we're heading out again. So we're going to go to the King's Road um, and like that kind of area um, for some lunch and yeah, just a little wonder really. My top looks a bit funny. So I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. I've got this white t-shirt on from Topshop. My coat is also from Topshop and so are my jeans. I'll give you like a full length when I find a full length mirror when we're out. But yeah, so I'll see you guys when we get there. So we're just in the car on the way. It's such a dull day today, which is such a shame because yesterday was lovely. Um, it's kind of annoying for taking photos because I'd like to get a photo in this outfit because um, it's for my Topshop post that I do monthly. Um, but there we go. Also, I just remembered I was going to tell you guys about uh, my teeth. Hang on, let me take these off because I don't need them. <laughs> I was going to tell you about. Um... Are you alright then? <laughs> Sorry, am I disturbing you? I was going to tell you about my teeth because I went to the dentist the other day and I get loads of questions about um, my teeth and what I had done to them and stuff like that so I just thought I'd whack it in a vlog and then people can hear from there. So um, I had braces for almost three years when I was about, how old was I, like 14, 13? Yeah. Um, for a very, yeah, a very long period in my life <laughs> and it was horrible, like train track braces, with, like elastic bands, everything because basically I had really gappy teeth up here. Um, and I've had them taken off since and I've now got a uh, like fixed wire behind my teeth so they don't move. Anyway, I had them taken off and like for the next three or four years I just really wasn't very happy at all with them still because they were still quite gaffy. So these two beside my front teeth um, were really small, like they were really small teeth. So there was nothing really braces could do to make them not gappy anymore. They were just small. So anyway. Anyway, when I was living up in Manchester, I came across this guy on Instagram called Dr. McLean. He was a dentist um, in Manchester and he like specialises in veneers and like all cosmetic dentistry and stuff like that. So I went to him for a um, consultation, which was totally free, just to see what he said. And I didn't, I really wanted to keep it like natural because you can get like full veneers all over like the front of your teeth um, but I didn't really want that because the rest of my teeth were fine it was just these two beside that I didn't like so anyway what we decided to do in the end was he put um, two composite veneers on these two teeth here very nice and close yeah so we put two composite veneers on these two and then these two are my own teeth but he's just built them up slightly there and there and then everything else is mine so, oh, it's gonna come back and focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's what I had done. Um, the whole process. I also had them whitened as well with him um, because they weren't like yellow, but the veneers. They're, you can change the colour of the veneers, but because I wanted them to be like a nice white colour, it made sense to make the rest of my teeth match the nice white veneers, if you know what I mean, rather than make the veneers yellow. <laughs> um, so yeah, had them whitened. 
which was like in, um i think it was called oh what was it called oh i can't remember what it's called but i'll put it down below um it's the trays that you take home and you put the um you know the gel in them and you wear them at night to be honest though i don't know if i kind of I don't regret it but I wouldn't really recommend it because it made my teeth really sensitive. I didn't have sensitive teeth before at all um, and literally ever since then my bottom teeth in particular they're so sensitive so it's kind of something that like I do like because obviously I like that they're white but it's like really annoying at the same time and I actually couldn't carry on I couldn't do the whole treatment because my teeth were just getting so painful like when I was wearing the trays I was literally in agony so <laughs> that is something to consider because I didn't have sensitive teeth at all before so I didn't think that would affect me but it did so yeah sorry that was a really long explanation but hopefully that has cleared everything up about what I have done uh, the guy's name is Dr McLean he's amazing but he's got so popular now I think it's like a year waiting list before you can even get in for a consultation and also the consultation aren't free anymore so when i saw him i literally got in like the next week and stuff like that but i think like with instagram and stuff it's just like grown really popular like even i can't like fit in i can't get in to go and see him for like a maintenance check or to get anything else done i, I have to wait like a year like everyone else as well so that's the only kind of annoying thing but he is really really good at what he does so that's just the price you have to pay really isn't it of trying to shoot an Instagram photo. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so dull today for a start. So, hang on, I literally don't need this. It's so dull today, so it's hard to get a photo anyway. Hard to find a good background, hard to find somewhere where there's not millions of people. We're outside Saatchi Gallery, which obviously is so busy. So it's kind of stupid of us in the first place, but yeah. Anyway, I hope that that was like quite fun for you to see like how I shoot them. I normally just shoot them with like whoever I'm, uh, whoever I'm out with at the time. Like I don't tend to go and do like big photo shoots. I never use like a photographer or anything like that. I literally just get my mom or my boyfriend, sometimes my dad or my best friend to do it. So yeah. Big thanks to mama for all the photos. Cheers, hun. Okay. <laughs> She's cold. I made her cold doing that. We'll go get a hot drink maybe. Warm ourselves up. See that? Good plan. I'm just in the Zara changing room, which is like the smallest changing room in the whole world. Actually, if I do that, that's better. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm just trying on this little top, which I thought was really cute. So I thought I'd show you. It's kind of like camel and blue. Oh, it's quite cool with this outfit, like, it goes with the blue of the jeans and the boots. It's in the sale, this one, but there was loads of them, so hopefully you'll be able to pick it up. I think it's safe to say that we smashed the Zara sale. And that Zara over there, such a good Zara. Literally got so much stuff. I'll put a picture on screen now of me with all the bags, it's quite funny. Hi guys. So we're back from shopping now. Um, we got back a couple hours ago. Had such a nice lunch in Polto. So, so nice, love the food there. Um, anyway, back now and now my boyfriend has just arrived. Um, he was at work today, so we just come down a bit later and now we're gonna just head out to the pub. We're just gonna walk there um, and have a nice little cozy drink and maybe a little bite to eat. Um, I'm just wearing my H&M teddy coat, which is sold out online annoyingly. Um, but I did sit in Southampton store the other day. Um, and then I've got my misguided jumper on, which I wear all the time, I'll link it down below. And then if I spin you round, um, I've just got the jeans that I was wearing earlier from Topshop and then my Stan Smiths, just to be nice and comfy because we're gonna walk to the pub. Um, I actually think I'm going to end the vlog here because I got a lot of footage and I know it's going to be crazy, crazy long. Um, but yeah, it's Saturday night and I'm not really doing anything exciting tomorrow. So I'm going to end the vlog and um, hope that you guys enjoyed it. Everything will be linked down below. Please let me know what you thought of it. Um, and yeah, I'll probably be back next week with another vlog. I think I'm going to keep going. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.